Welcome to another episode of Pakistan on a Plate. My name is Nilofar Afridi Kazi. Chune Washe, Gwadar. The meaning of the coastal village is an elusive mystery. In Balochi, Gwadar could mean a corridor of wind, door of air, literally. This is probably not accurate since, surprisingly, it isn't very windy here. Another theory of what Gwadar could mean, also in Balochi, it could mean Chadar, which is put over someone for protection, a symbol that Gwadar is a protection for the state of Balochistan. Standing on top of Kohe Batil, Gwadar city is sandwiched beautifully between two mountains, Batil on one side and Mehdi on the other side. In between is the absolute stunning Gwadar city. It is also surrounded by the ocean on three sides. Padizar on the left side, Demizar on the right side. Padizar suggests, according to locals, is the Arabian Sea, which is slightly calmer. It is also less deep, according to them. And on the right side, it's deep blue, which is a little more rough. Behind us makes the loop of the Arabian Sea. In between is Gwadar City. Gwadar is a city of 300,000 souls. This is truly a breathtaking town, an unbelievably beauty to absorb as you watch from the peak of the battles, taking it all in. Who are these Gwadaris? They are Baloch, they speak Balochi, they are fisher folk called Mallas locally. Every local family I met was connected to the fishing industry. My first recipe is called Gwadri Halwa, a very green recipe, very popular here and sold in the mounds and mounds in Jannat Bazaar. Here it goes. Step 1. Make a sugar syrup in a cauldron, keep it boiling, take half of the liquid out, setting it aside. Step 2. In a separate bowl, mix the flour with a little water and blend it with your hands, making a paste. In the remaining liquid, add the nishasta flour mixture and keep stirring. Add the oil in the sugar syrup slowly and raise the heat and continuously mix vigorously. Add a little of the dried fruit to the liquid mixture, keeping most of it aside. Continuously stir the liquid, which is on high heat. Stirring the foam, swishing, swaying the halwa, it truly is a workout, but such a beautiful sight. Old cauldrons are made of brass and copper and the long spoon ladles as well. Keep adding the sugar mixture back which you had set aside into the swishing cauldron until it fully absorbs. Finally, add the cardamom and continuously stir it in. Once it is removed from the fire, add a lovely thick layer of dried nuts on top before it is sent to the market. This Gwadri Halwa, this very green Halwa is chewy, jelly chewy. This chewiness comes from the nishasta flour. This is not regular flour. 
This is fermented, sprouted flour. The vendors tell me hundreds of kilos are sent to Oman, which is right across the water. As I walk around the covered bazaar of Jannat Market, Shahi Bazaars, the two main markets in Gwadar, women were selling wares. And I was told women of Gwadar are more emancipated de facto because most of the men are at sea for half of the year, leaving the household's chores completely in the hands of women. I was thrilled to see Krut in the market or what they call in Balochi, Selanche. So many varieties, some from Iran, some from Afghanistan, some from Quetta. The Iranian version is more liquidy. Iran wala hai. It is like a soft feta texture. It is considered of the highest quality in these parts. Our next recipe takes us to village Mundi in the airport zone, which is around 35 minutes away from the town center. Most of the greenery, if you can call it that, we see all around while we travel are woody, thorny, undergrowth shrubs. They're not larger than 30 centimeters in height and have few leaves stiff with prickly branches. Master Nasser is a retired teacher from Turbat and his loving wife, Mariam Khatun, are hospitable and welcoming. The variety of date is called Begum Jhangi. Here is the wonderful recipe they showed us. Nashir Selonch. Step 1. Take the dates and flour and blend it together. Next, add the desi ghee to the mixture and continue blending. As one kneads, and blends in using one's hands, date seeds pop out. As you continue to massage the dates and the flour together, the seeds pop out one by one like a symphony. It is a beautiful sight to see. Pop, pop. Over a cooking fire in a pot, add one tablespoon of desi ghee once it is melted, add the date mixture. The purpose is to ensure the flour is roasted and does not remain kacha. Separately in a lassi ka bartan, the krut liquid has been churned already into a lassi. Take the lassi krut and boil it in a pot. Boil until the whey separates. Keep the whey, which is called sitch in Balochi, aside. As it separates the milk solids, which is cottage cheese, they rise up. Take it off the heat, put it in a tub of cool water to bring down the temperature to almost room temperature. This should take about 30 minutes. Then sieve the milk solids out of its way. Locally, they use a tatron material cloth as a sieve. Transfer the milk solids in a sack which you hang for a little while to draw out any remaining liquid out. The two are then put together, scooping a handful of date halva, dipping it into the beautiful selange which has been whipped up and enjoy it with a tangy, sweet combination dish. Fabulous. <laughs> Amazing. Mm. This whipped is very nice. Yes. Mm. Mm. Aap kya samajhte hain ki yahan jo ho raha hai CPE ke naam se kuch nazar aa raha hai? Nahi, abhi tak 
अमी इतनी कुछ नहीं दिखाई दे रहा है अलबत् रोड ही बनाई गई थी मुशरफ के दौर में और कुछ कंपनियों ने पैसों ने जो ज़मीनें ली हैं कुछ अभी मकान बन रहे हैं बिल्डर अपने लिए बंगले वगैरह बना रहे हैं लेकिन जो चीज़ जो जिस जो मशहूर किया गया है कि सी में कुछ भी नहीं है हमारे लिए ना हमारे लिए मुलाजमती हैं नौकरियाँ नहीं हैं सिर्फ अखबारों में है तस्वीरों में हम देखते हैं खबरों में हम सुनते हैं लेकिन फर्श पर ऑन ग्राउंड कुछ भी नहीं है अभी तक गरीबों के लिए कोई भी ग्वादर के वाम के लिए कुछ भी नहीं हो रहा है हाँ वादे फरदा है As you move along exploring this glorious corner of Pakistan water as you know is a serious issue in this part of Pakistan there are three rainwater dams which feed gwadar shadikor in pasni ankara in gwadar sawad on the way to pasni i decide to check out one of these dams ankara dam in village kekalat this is now a cantonment thus relatively inaccessible for the locals this dam is fed by a local river which is what gives the dam its name the overwhelming feeling is that we are in a different planet it's so surreal the topography here the shapes and the colors of the mountains there are so many amazing natural wonders in gwadar one of the many unique sites i saw is the mud volcano at the base of kohi mati darya ki chamak the eye of the river Interesting isn't it? The locals call a volcano an eye of the sea. Quite poetic. The mud volcano is an incredible natural wonder. Sputtering, bubbling, but it's not hot. In fact, quite cold. I found it quite unique. As we drive towards Surbandar, as the name tells us, is the town where the local artists, musicians are famous. We decide to drop in in one of the local celebrities and listen to some beautiful music. Satiated with nourishment of the soul, I was keen to explore more of the sea.
We are going to one of the islands off the coast, Manbar Island. This is now in Pishukan Union Council. Getting on the gorgeous boats, enjoying the sea is a unique experience for many Pakistanis. Watching the fisher folk work, we meet a fisherman. What shikar did they manage to catch today? There are many kinds of fish and seafood varieties off the coast of Gwadar. Unfortunately, most of the shellfish is unavailable in the local markets. Much of the shellfish is considered makru food amongst Muslims. Thus, I found there is very little culture of having shellfish in these areas. Nevertheless, due to the extreme heat and little cold storage facilities, drying fish is a common practice. I wanted to see this. So off we go to the, a neighborhood in Surbandar in Kapri Mohalla. Recipe Boogie Dried Fish Step 1. Clean, wash the fish well. Then make a long horizontal deep cut, slicing the fish completely exposing the belly. Add a large swath of salt all over. Put the salted fish in a pot, cover it and place it in a cool dry area for 24 hours. After 24 hours, take it out and hang the fish on a drying line in the sun. At sundown, bring it in and store it in an organic woven date leaves basket, which actually a quite traditional over here and the fishermen use it as a storage basket at home and at sea. Then take the dried fish and wash it thoroughly when you want to use it in a dish. For a recipe, in a pot, boil water and the fish for 20 minutes, rehydrating it and cooking it completely. Take it off the boil and remove the flesh off the bone. Aside, make the masala until the masala is completely bhunod. Add the fish flesh that you have kept aside and cook it over dam for 10 minutes over low heat. This is served with roti or rice. Yeah, taste it? Yes, absolutely. Namaste. 
Wherever I traveled in this land, beautiful children playing football, the favorite sport undoubtedly here. I saw messy t-shirts clad on little boys playing in grounds, lots of football grounds, formal and informal, all over this area. Children making little boats from plastic, running around in water puddles. Makes you really smile. Is there anything tradition which isn't from the sea? I wondered. I found a lovely recipe called Tabahik, a traditional curing of goat's meat, very specific to this belt, Turbat Ketch Gwadar region. This is made from the sacrificial meat after Badi Eid. This is then dried and cured, and then sparingly used over months in lovely dishes. Recipe Tabakh Dal. Pressure cooker rehydrate the tabakh with one cup of water for 45 minutes. In the meantime, make the dal. Add the two and let it cook on dum together for 20 minutes. This was a lovely alternative to a landi as you saw in episode 1. What a lovely discovery in the coastal belt of Balochistan. The Iranian border is close and thus I am keen to visit this western corner of Pakistan as well. Traditionally, November through March was called Hangam, the season the farmers used to sow wheat and other winter crops. As a consequence, the rain-fed agriculture has been completely abandoned in Gwadar. But with the rain, as we do see now, lots of water in the fields as we move towards Jawani. The sand, which is called Kallar in Balochi, and Jhump, which are sand dune mountains in Balochi, dance in the light, constantly taking one's breath away. The conical shapes jutting out, forming an incredible wave of mountains, almost defying gravity. I can't get over the natural beauty of Balochistan. We cross the tributary of the Dasht River, which feeds Jawani, which then pours out into the Arabian Sea. Jawani apparently has the most beautiful sunset in Pakistan. Until next time, Mawashu Tho Chone. Khudafis!